So if everything's going to plan, we're stepping back in time a little bit before I've even started the workshop. And that's because when I come to frame the walls, it'd be so much easier to do it around the windows. So I'm gonna start making the frames first. I've got some pine that I need to use up, so that'd be perfect, because it's all gonna get painted. So really for now, what I wanna do is make a box around the windows. So just need to measure them, mark out on this, cut four pieces on the miter saw and get them screwed together. I've now got the bits cut for the four sides. So now I'm gonna get a countersinking bit, put in the drill and get these glued and screwed together. Right, so that's three basic window frames done and these are just gonna help with framing the walls. But then, you've probably seen me frame the walls already. Time travel is complicated. Anyway, let's skip forward. The frames now need a bit of wood to go around inside to be a ledge for the glazing to sit against. And then after the glazing goes in, it needs another bit of wood to hold it in place. Luckily, the measurements will be the same for the both, so I can get those cut. And what I have are these plain all round strips. So I can just get them marked out and then cut to length on the mitre saw. Right, to get these strips put into place, I'm gonna grab my glue out of my glue warmer, get some applied, and then I'm gonna get them held in place with a few little nails. Filled any gaps that were in these and gave them all the sand down. Now I'm going to get painted with the same black barn paint that I've used on the building so far. Right, the paint's all dry. Now I need to get some of this double sided foam tape put in all around the edges for the glass to go against. Before I get the glass put in, I'm just gonna put some plastic packers in that are thicker than this tape. So when I lower the glass down, the glass will sit on the packers and not the tape. Then I can position it and pull the packers out. With the glass in, I've left a gap around the outside so I can find packers that fit, get them cut in half and then stuck in there so the glass won't move. So now to lock it all in place, I can get these other strips installed. But first, we get some more of this foam tape on. some little pins now I can just tap in to get this strip locked into place so the windows are put together now I can get them installed so 
find where the opening is. And I'm just going to get the knife in, and cut through the membrane from corner to corner. Right, now I can grab the staple gum, fold these flaps in, and staple it in place. So now any excess membrane can get trimmed off. Now I've got the window and hopefully it fits into the hole. Yeah, nice. Right, so I've got it flush with the frame inside and get some packers put in place. And I get some screws in to lock it all in. Right, so two down, last one to go. So that's three installed, now we've got to seal them up. Right, so I need to seal up the glass. I've got some of this glazing silicon, so I'm just going to run a bead around all the windows. So I've got the glazing sealed up, now I need to seal the gap between the frames and the walls and what I've got is some flashing tape. So I can start at the bottom and get this installed all the way around the windows. This tape is sticky, but to really help it attach, I like to heat it up with a heat gun and just rub it on. So, we've got three windows installed in here. It makes it feel so much bigger and brighter already. So, next job will be to get the cladding on. So, thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos.